there it is, um, 0.3661. I don't know if you can see it very well, but I copy it straight up. I'm going to be actually doing some problems for you. That, so it's actually going to, I'm actually going to, what's the word? I'll do an impromptu. Okay. Well, uh, let's do this again. We know that the sine of the angle of negative 1.3661 is not valid. The angle must be between negative 1 and 1. Uh, oh, we must be in the right mood. So we got to go into uh, radians. Let me see if I get uh, the angle. Let's just, let's just get that, the angle. The angle is killing me. So make sure you're in radians mode. Okay. And uh, to find this angle, I'm going to do the sine inverse of 0 0.3661. It's going to be approximately 0 0.3748. Um, do they want it in degrees? Or, oh, they want it in degrees. Excuse me. So, I'm going to put it in degrees again. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my answer key, entry key, and you notice it gives me a little bit different answer. Theta hat is equal to 21.5 degrees. Okay, so there it is right there. I took the sine inverse of 0.3661. I did not need to put absolute value because I, uh, this is already positive. I found my reference angle. Now what do I need to do? I need to find data. Data is in the first quadrant for the sine, 21.5 degrees. And then when it is when is it also positive, it's in quadrant two. So how do you find in quadrant two? I'm just going to draw it out just to make you show where it's located. It's going to be this angle, data. That's your data hat right there. So it's going to be 180 minus that, 180 degrees minus 21.5. It's going to be 160, 80, 70, 60, 160. 159, 158.5. Approximately. Is that right? Yeah, 158.5. 21.5 degrees and 158.5 degrees. Uh, 30 minutes is elapsed, so I'm probably actually going to do some of these problems for you. Um, I'm probably going to do the odd ones or the even ones. It doesn't really matter which one I do. Uh, we're going to pick about maybe one from each uh, section. Let's do the even ones because they're not in the back of the book. Let's do number four. It says solve for each equation for theta if theta is between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. So we know we're going to be dealing with the degree. Do not use a calculator, so we're not going to use a calculator. Number four says 2 cosine of theta plus radical 3 is equal to 0. Well, first we're going to solve for cosine of theta. We're going to move the root 3 and divide it by 2. So cosine of theta is equal to root 3 over 2 with the negative sign in front. I'm going to try to find theta hat first. To find theta hat, I take the positive portion. Cosine of what angle is equal to positive root 3 over 2? Hmm. 30 degree reference angle. Make sure you get your quadrant one reference angles down. Once it negative, I'm gonna write this, show you guys a little bit. The cosine is negative in quadrant two and quadrant three. So since I found the reference angle, what I'm gonna do is in quadrant two, I'm gonna subtract it from 180, so theta is equal to 150 degrees. In quadrant 3, I'm going to add this 30 degrees. It's going to be 180 plus 30. It's going to be 210 degrees. I'm just going to check it really quickly. Cosine of 150 is negative root 3 over 2 plus times 2 is root negative root 3 plus root 0. So I check my work on this one. Check! Did you like that? Check. Never mind. Um, as a lot of you know, I'm pretty punny. Not funny, just punny. So forgive my puns. 
Uh, let's do, uh, we can do either 8, 10, or 12. Let's do 10. 5 cosine of angle T plus root 12 is equal to cosine of T. Well, the first thing is it's not quadratic, it's linear. So I'm going to move this guy over, move this guy over. If I subtract a cosine of t, I get 4 cosine of t is equal to negative root 12. We have to simplify that radical. That's going to be the same thing as root 4 times 3, which is the same thing as root 4 times root 3, which is 2 root 3. 4 cosine of t is equal to negative 2 radical 3 divided by 4. That gets rid of that right there. Reduce that. That becomes negative root 3 over 2. Wow, deja vu. Look at that. Cosine t is equal to negative root 3 over 2. Uh, I tried to put, oh, they want it this time. And where have I got to put this? Right over here. t is going to be between 0 and 2 pi. So it's going to have to be in radians. Okay, I tried to read the direction. It says, solve each equation for zero, t between 0, inclusive, and 2 pi exclusive. Give all answers in exact values and radians. Do not use a calculator. So we're not going to use a calculator. So to find the reference angle, t, what angle will give you positive root 3 over 2? Cosine of what angle? It's going to be 30 degrees. We know that 30 degrees is equal to pi over 6. I like to put the 3 and the 6 here, they are interchanged. Memorize this, guys. You're going to need it all over and over again. All of my students have this memorized. So, uh, t bar is equal to pi over 6, or t hat, excuse me, which happens to be the reference angle. t is equal to, so 1 is the cosine of that angle negative, again. The cosine of that is in negative in quadrant 2 and quadrant 3. So, just plug it in. It's going to be pi minus, here it's going to be pi minus pi over 6. It's going to be 5 pi over 6. And it's going to be pi and then plus pi over 6. It's going to be 7 pi over 6. These are your two solutions. Uh, I can plug it in. I'm not going to. It should give me the correct answer. Little, running just a little bit out of time. Okay, number four is done. Let's do number 14 now. Find all solutions. Every time you say the, say the word all solutions, uh, it's going to be a little bit uh, between the interval of 0 degrees and 360 degrees using a calculator. Okay, uh, write all answers to the nearest tenth of a degree. So we kind of know that this uh, is going to be a quadratic in nature, probably, and quadratic formula. And it says approximate that. All right, let's look at number 14. 4 sine of theta plus 3 is equal to 0. I take that back. It's not quadratic. There's no squares. I never looked at this problem before. So forgive me not. Uh, I'm going to subtract the 3. And then you get 4 sine of theta is equal to negative 3. How do I solve for sine of theta? Divide by 4. And the data is equal to negative 3 over 4. You have the pause button, which is going to be really helpful. So as you go through it, pause it and see what's going on. It's going to teach you a lot about, okay, what am I getting wrong? Where's, I'm going to try to find your uh, sticking points. But um, as I'm working through the problem, it's just a little bit hard for me to figure out what all the sticking points of every student's issues are. So how do we do this? How do we find theta hat? Theta hat, remember, to find theta hat, we take the absolute value of it. It's equal to the sine inverse of 0.75. Okay. 
I'm going to use my calculator. Here it is. Can you see it? A little bit better. So sine inverse version, sine inverse of 0.75 is 48.6 degrees. And we got it down to a tenth of an, uh, a degree. 14, let's just make sure. 4 sine of theta plus 3 equals 0. Okay. Uh, find all solutions in the fold between 0 and 360. calculate by a solution in a tenth of a degree. Okay, so we found that one. Uh, so what is theta? Well, uh, for what angle of the sine is it negative? Sign of what angle is going to be negative? It's going to be in quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. If you're not sure, it's negative here, it's negative here. It's the Y section, Y, y portion. I'm going to use a different color pencil. That's your sign. Okay? If you're not quite sure, you can figure it out or ask someone or uh, I might give you some other videos on the reason why it happens the way it happens. So that's theta hat. That's theta hat. So it's 180 plus uh, 48.6. 180, uh, 228.6 degrees. And on the second part, I'm just going to go theta is equal to 360 minus 228. Sorry, minus 248.6 degrees. Excuse me. That's approximation. And I'm just going to do it on my calculator. 360 minus 48.6 is 311.4. Uh, I don't like to use calculators very much, but I didn't want to get it wrong. Okay. Um, next problem. Either 20, 22, 24, 26. Let's do 22. 40 minutes has elapsed so far. We're going to try to do two or three more problems. 22. Solve for x. x is going to be between 0 and 2 pi, which means we're going to be in radians. Right? In exact values only. So we'll try to figure it out. 22. The tangent of x times the tangent of x plus 1 is equal to 0. We're going to zip it out. Zero product property says that each factor is equal to 0 because on the right side it's already equal to 0. So tangent of x equals 0. Tangent of x plus 1 is equal to 0. For what angle is it equal to 0? That happens to be sine over cosine, right? So we have to have the numerator equal to 0 at 0 degrees and 180 degrees. Tangent of x has to equal negative 1. x has to be, x hat has to be 45 degrees. And 1 in radians is going to be pi over 4. It's going to be in quadrant 3 because it's on quadrant 2, quadrant 4. Almost made a mistake. Uh, you can try to figure out why it's in quadrant 2, quadrant 4 using all students to calculus. So you're going to go this way, which is pi minus pi over 4 is 3 pi over 4. So quadrant 4 this way can be 3 